on this episode of In The Box. I have learned to appreciate things. That's all I got. And I am getting in deep, deep into some packages from the mailbox. So you don't want to miss this one. This one's a pretty interesting one. If I do say so myself, and I did say so myself. So stick around because things are getting heated up and they're starting right now. Welcome back to another edition of In the Box the Hockey Card Show. A hockey Card Show! Yeah! I don't know where I get this energy. <coughs> I can tell you I'm not doing a second take on that. That hurt the pipes a little bit. Can you tell? By my voice, I can't even talk right anymore. Oh! Man, just thought of, like, you know you're out of shape when you sit in a chair and you do something as ridiculous as I just did and you're out of breath and you're already sweating. That is not good. But today's episode will be. So I welcome you back to yet another amazing Tuesday edition of In the Box, a hockey card show, episode number 28. Are you psyched? Are you saying you gotta be a little bit psyched? Gotta be a little bit excited. We got some stuff. Got a whole pile of it sitting right here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get into it. It's unbelievable. Oh my God, I've been waiting forever. That probably sounds like a few kids, you know, on your street maybe that are just getting to that period in their life when things start getting interesting. So what are we going to dip into today? I've come to realize how much I've learned to appreciate many things from the past. You grow up, your mentality changes, your view on things change, you learn to appreciate things. And the same goes with like movies and shows. And the one thing that I've come to realize is how much I really enjoy watching like past games or past series, you know? Um, I know that there are a lot of different uh, box sets for different teams, you know, Toronto Maple Leafs and Detroit, and, you know, you know, like you could buy the box set, like whatever it may be, like the seven best games or, you know, the best historic games that they've had. And despite not being a fan of all of these teams, I enjoy watching them. A few months back, I actually <laughs> tagged along with my better half, who loves to do thrift shopping, I might add. And I thought, I'm going to go check out the VHS section. The reason why I did that was for this very specific project. So here I was checking out all these different VHS, and I was looking for specifically hockey VHS videos, highlight videos, or even some bloopers, you know, things like that. And I thought, I'm just going to grab some of these and maybe I can transfer them over to, you know, a digital copy. Little did I know, some of them are actually on YouTube. So I thought, okay, well, you know, I spent 50 cents on the tape. whoop de doo I think it's going to be pretty interesting just to see all those old videos, all those old, you know, old fights. I, I think I saw one, like, the fights, like the best fights of the, the, the 80s, the early 80s or 90s or whatever. Um, there was bloopers. There was... Um, Oh, the best, like, best saves or something like that. I can't really remember. And, like, old Don Cherry movies. Rock 'em, sock 'em, like, eight. <laughs> and then as I started to think about all this, I'm like, hmm, you know, maybe I should check out some other stuff. But I did go to a library, and anything hockey related on DVD at that time, because I, I don't believe they carried Blu rays. I don't know. Do libraries carry Blu rays? I was able to check out bunch of different stuff you know from best playoff games the whole the whole 72 series like i'm like that was that was before my time right so it's kind of like to see every game was like awesome like you learn to appreciate it and then it and it kind of brings you back especially with a lot of different uh a lot of the things that they highlight in these videos because it's a lot of a lot of history involved in it and it's always it's always cool to actually check it out and see it so i want to say about two years ago 
I um, had some time off and uh, I decided, you know what? I want to watch something, you know, exciting. As you can tell by my tone of excitement. And I decided, you know what? I bought this thing and I never really watched it. So I decided to pop in the Hockey Gold 2010. I mean, I usually check out a lot of the other features on the discs. Um, so with this, this one in particular, this box set comes with uh, the eight uncut games, the gold medal finals, the pregame commentary, the tournament highlights, victory ceremonies, and arena soundtrack. And the arena soundtrack is basically like the game just without any commentary. So you're just, you're just hearing the players, the skating, the movements, the fans. And, uh, I watched both cause it's, it's of both men's and women's. So it was, uh, it was pretty awesome to just go back and, uh, and watch that all over again. Now, I remember when I lived in Barrie, the unit that I was renting, they had the NHL network. Now, it wasn't the NHL network where you actually get to watch the games. During the off season, it was like constant NHL news. There were a lot of different shows um, about players or series, and, and I loved it. I wish I could just get that. You know, I'd be content with just that, watching stuff like that year round. The odd time you would actually be able to watch a full length game from the past, whether it was like um, like a playoff game. I, I'm a fan of actually watching some older games and uh, absolutely love to watch documentaries regarding players or sp specific moments in hockey. Yeah, damn, you know what the... Yeah, we don't care. Get to the cards. Why aren't you listening to him? Get the cards. Get them out now. Let's go. Oh, man. Unbelievable. All right. Are you all set now? Are you ready? Are you all timmed out? Because I'm ready to dip into this. I've been ready for years. I'm just waiting for you. All right. So why don't we just get right to it right now? It is absolutely amazing how quickly and how easily this pad gets dirty. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just thought I would mention that <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Anyhow, anyhow, let's get into our first bubble mailer here. And uh, it's, it's a pretty big one coming from guy out in BC and I'm really unsure about this one for numerous reasons which I won't quite get into on this episode but uh, we're going to check and see what is all in here oh my gosh so he's So let me tell you something. You see how I'm moving it like that? See how you get that glare? Yeah, that's not the top loaders. That's packing tape. Packing tape. Clear packing tape. I had a funny feeling about this purchase. You can see by the... My face, yeah, my feeling of it, on it, semi-correct. Um, again, maybe maybe on another episode I will uh, I will dip into the the story in regards to this one. Anyways, we're gonna open them up anyway. Hey. Do you guys remember that? The angry hobbyist. Remember that? Remember that was an idea I thought I'd come up with? I think people, I honestly think it would work. I really think it would work. You know, they have Karen's, that restaurant where they treat you like crap on purpose. People go there, they spend their money so that you can be treated like crap. I think it would work. I really do. Let's go watch the angry hobbyist. Let's go watch him. What do you 
talking at? Turn this off! <laughs> okay, so we are going to... I'm going to try and, and get this open as quickly as I can. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys right now. And I, I know that I try to be as upbeat and as positive and all that stuff. Granted, I know I have rants from time to time. But I mean, we all have bad experiences from time to time. I, I'm going to... The experience I had with this lot in particular was not exactly one I'm ever going to do again. Let me just put it that way. Uh, and I don't I don't mean with like anyone, I mean particularly with with this person, unfortunately. Um have my reasons, of course, and I'm I'm not really not a fan of the packing. I'm sorry, I'm just not. I'm sorry. Well, Tim, was anything damaged? No, like probably not, but it goes beyond just the packing for me. So, um, if, if on some rare occasion, which is highly doubtful that this gentleman is watching. Yeah. I apologize, but, uh, that's all I'm going to say. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Um, I've been kind of eager to open this one just to, because I wanted to know what the heck was coming in. All right, so uh, there we go. Straighten that up. This is... Uh, we'll look at these in a second. Like the stuff that's stuck in the top loaders like that. Move this out of the way. Okay, can we, find, can we finally get going here? All right, let's finally get going. So we got a Corey Perry uh, Team Canada card, which is just a base card. Yep. Uh, Sam Gagne, OPG rookie. What else do we got? Uh, Panarin, Retro. Oh, he's got two cards per sleeve here. Retro. Oh, uh, Ryan Suter. Sorry. Hoping you guys don't hear that. There's like people yelling outside there. Anyhow, okay, continuing on. Uh, Ryan, what did I say? Ryan Sutter? Yeah, Ryan Sutter. And that's the beige. So, I mean, I mean that one's not bad. That one's not bad. I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Those are not, uh, not too easily uh, found, I guess I can put it in that way. Uh, Max Domi. That's not a bad card, I believe. Is this the? Uh, this is probably the green. Oh yeah, it's a limited variant. It says right on it. I mean, that's that's okay, I suppose. Uh, got a plethora of these, of course, already. The uh, the gold medallion. It's a uh, Seabrook. What else have we got? Green, ice green, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm a little I'm a little off right now. Hold on. Let me let me let me let me. <sighs> let me let me just get centered here. <laughs> okay. John Gibson, Ice Green, and Blake Wheeler. Still working on the green variations of that set. Authentic Moments. And we got two of them. SPA. Mark Giordano. From Overtime. It's just a just a base card. Brian O'Reilly from Metal Universe. And uh, we got Steven Rice. This is uh, some Paramount. These are... I believe these are like... I guess they're the blue? The blue variations, if I'm not mistaken? Because I, I believe the base, I think, are just silver foil. It's been a while since I've seen that set, so I, I don't don't quote me on that. Joe Pavelski from SB Game Used Skills. Now that I was not expecting. I mean, maybe I should have, but uh, but I wasn't. Okay, portfolio. 
I actually didn't mind that set. Upper Deck Portfolio, I know. And I've heard a lot of people say, oh, for what you pay, it's... Nah. And I'm, I, I, in, a, in a way, I've seen a couple of box breaks of it, and I can, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see where they're coming from. Uh, but regardless, we got one of those. We got a Sean Monahan Retro Rookie. Continuing on. Jeff Skinner Retro. You do portraits of Larkin. Got a plethora of those. Oh my gosh, they're just falling everywhere. And some Parkhurst. Another retro. It's just stuff. Some of the stuff just stuff I have a lot of already. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them as you you know the drill. You know the drill. Oh, I, I definitely need these. Well, not this one specifically, but I said these with two cards in my hand. Uh, but the um, I meant the Choice Reserve uh, Silvers. Still working on that subset. Couple more ice green. And what do we got here? Uh, okay, so that is uh, Upper Deck uh, Gold Reserve. I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, Adam Deadmarsh, Paramount, the blue variation. Some more gold reserve. A couple of those guys. Let me see. I'm trying to see who is it. Uh, Charlie Stevens. And who is that? Peter Reynolds. I think that's what I, I think that's what I saw. Okay. Future watch. Spectrum effects. Okay. That's not, that's not, that's not a bad, uh, Bad combo right there. Oh boy, we haven't come across any of these until today. The the Pacific Dinagon. I think this is the uh the, the green variation. Trevor Linden. Great player too. And Marcia So. And going, going, going. Let's go capping in and season highlights of Malkin. Oh boy, I'm a little off still, guys. So I'm just, I'll, I'll, I'll get back. I'll get back here. Deshane MVP to Foley from Platinum. Celebrated moments, authentic moments. So so far, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm a little. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a, I'm a little um, a little unsure about this one. Um, so there's a bit of a story behind it, and, uh, I don't know, but thankfully, thankfully for the, the, the price I paid, um, I don't think it's anything to, to make a huge fuss about, um, but yeah, there is a story behind it regardless, and, uh, just not, uh, just not a very, um, great experience for me i'll just i'll just say that much right now so, so i'm just showcasing uh stuff that that that's in it and it's stuff of course as i mentioned before it's a lot of this stuff is stuff that we've already gotten on the show quite quite a bit so it's uh it was basically a mystery a mystery pack for me and uh, i'm sure as you can tell I'm sure as you can tell by my demeanor, um, it's, uh, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Never, I never thought, I never thought in a million years, you know, you know, how, how many times I come on the show and I'm like, I'm, I'm all chirpy or not chirpy, but I'm all like, you know, happy and all this other stuff. And like, I never thought opening a package, I'd be like, kind of like, I don't want to say bummed out, but like, uh like this right so uh hope it doesn't take away too much from the episode but uh regardless regardless we'll get, just get through this and uh <laughs> it should have opened this one maybe at the end of the show i don't know anyhow okay okay during that segment i was flapping my lips and um there were actually a few cards in there that were actually pretty neat that uh 
I'm uh, semi excited, not excited, but semi shocked, I guess, that they're in here. But uh, the majority of these cards are all things that uh, we've pretty much seen in past episodes numerous times. So, just going to get through it real quick. And we got three of those. Like a lot of, a, quite a bit of Opeachy in this one. Nicholas, well, that's just, that's just a high card. That's a, just a high numbered base card. Kopitar rookie. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm a little, I'm, I'm asking myself, <laughs> I'm asking myself not so loudly, you know, would you ever, would you ever buy this kind of mystery pack again? And a part of me is kind of like, well, well, it's not completely terrible. I think it was more of the experience than anything, to be quite honest with you. I think that's what it was. I think that's what's, I think that's what's getting to me, is the experience. Anyways, but I'll grab the ones. I'm not a fan of, of this either, um, like packing tape and all that stuff. Like, eh. but I'll show you what was stuck in there. We got uh, that, <laughs> and of course we got a Parker's rookie there. Uh, Hall of Destined for the Hall, Iserman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just not a fan of this packaging. I'll tell you that right now. William Eklund. Could have been so much easier. So much, you know. So we got the mini there, of course, of Varlamov, rookie. And then we got uh, Stislav in the back. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Shaking my head, guys. Just shaking my head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank God. You can tell it's only Tuesday. <laughs> Brock Besser. And then that's gonna that's gonna be a pain in the butt getting these out. That Lemieux gold medallion's alright, I suppose, and Dermot. Okay, you know what? Alright. I'm gonna toss these over there because um Yeah. Okay, all right, we ready? We ready? Okay, okay. Let's go! All right, okay, new package, new package. This comes in from uh, Tyler Colehurst, Alberta. Pause the camera while I open that up. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on! Now that's like total 80s music right there. Remember back in the 80s? That was their thing. You know, it was like, like, oh yeah, mm hmm, baby, mm hmm, come on, let's go, baby, mm hmm. <laughs> okay, so it's been a while. Oh, look at that. Enjoy, he says. He writes. Uh, I've been waiting for this one for a little bit. My, my ball. Been waiting to open it, is what I should say, because I've had it for a little bit there. And uh, time has been pretty cool with. Uh, with sending out packages in the sense where he's like, oh, look at that. I wrote thanks as well. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. Um, go through some stuff and see what I need or see what I want. There's no rush to it. It's just very, it's just a very mellow kind of, kind of thing that we got. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what we got in this. This looks pretty trashy on the card cam. Let me just move these out of the way. Actually, they're going in the recycling bin. There we go. There we go. Move this around here. Here we go. I feel this episode's a bit of a mess, but let's try and get back to uh, get back to par. Okay, he's got a couple in here. So we're going to grab onto those. Look at that. We got some... Uh, Crown Royale. <laughs> Took me a second to remember. Crown Royale. Condra. Is that Condra? Condra. Rookie Auto. Postma. Rookie Auto. Very beautiful. And Olsen. Dylan Olsen. Rookie Auto. 
Very nice. Now, as you know, as you know, I often mention the autograph thing. Like, look at, like, look at how cool. That's a cool freaking autograph. That is cool. And the fact they're using the whole space. Ah, uh, liking it, liking it. Uh, is this just the one card in there? Yes, it is. So we got this one here from uh, Leaf Metal. Um, not a not a huge huge fan of uh, Leaf products. Um, but I guess when it comes to the minor league stuff, like CHL and stuff like that, you know, of course they have the rights to it. So, uh, having the logos and stuff there, we're not airbrushing everything out, you know, I mean, it looks so much better that way. So, uh, not bad, not bad of a card right there. And it looks like we've got another little bit of crown Royale. Let me just dip into this one real quick. There we go. Another. Yeah, it's hard to see the names, man. I'm trying to see that. It looks like Kincaid. I want to say Kincaid just based on his autograph. And I'd be right. I'd be right. Nilsson? Is that Nilsson? And, oh, is that the same guy? Look at that. I got the same guy twice. The same guy two times. Very nice. That will help. That will help. I know I have the majority of that set, but of course the autograph rookies are, are like the section of that set that I'm I'm still kind of working on. Okay, we got another one here. Let's open that up. Come on, get your fat fingers in there. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's another autograph. Uh, Voinov, Pinnacle. Nice. I have a few of these. I have a few of the autograph from Pinnacle. Not very many, but a few. And what else we got here? Look at that. McGinn. Brock McGinn. Ultimate collection. Autograph rookie out of 275. Well, actually, I don't, I don't think it's his actual rookie. That's just a subset. Ultimate rookies. And last one is Bonino. Bonino. Bonino Nino. Out of 499 from Luxury Suite. Rookie autograph. Very nice. I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, the Luxury Suite set when it came out. All right. Let's grab another one. Let's keep going. This one comes in from Patrick. From, uh, looks like it says Par Paradise? Does that say Paradise, Newfoundland? <laughs> Would I be right? I don't know. I don't know, but regardless, let's check out and see what what we got from Patrick. And see, see these people, these people, it, such such a simple job, such a simple simple job of packaging, and nothing came in damaged. They didn't didn't have to use industrial freaking packing tape okay i better i better stop because i'm gonna work myself up <laughs> again and just be a downer so i don't want to do that but there's a first for everything guys first for everything okay i'm just taking the tape because they because the, patrick did a pretty pretty cool job putting these together so they don't move around so that's awesome let's take a look and see what we got let's take a look and see what we got ba -da -da -da. all right <laughs> all right look at that nilstorp prism rookie autograph and so that's a um... yeah <laughs> that's a uh... i was like i don't know for some weird reason i thought it was numbered but the minute I looked in the back, I was like, wait a minute. Things aren't numbered. They never was numbered. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you forget. You forget certain attributes are not part of certain sets. Okay, I remember. I'm actually, ugh, I actually remember seeing this one. Yes, 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 yes. In Didi McCready. Some heroes and prospects. I, I... I gotta have a good chunk of those autographs by now. My gosh. Just like from what I remember collecting there to now and then getting some in some of these uh 
some of the lots even during the show. Ryan White, another one. Another autograph there. Ooh, who do we have here? It's from Signature Series 2001. Yeah, not using the space. Not using the space. I'm telling you. And it looks like we got another one. Chris Stitch. Autograph from Signature Series. Ah, Grimaldi. Future Watch. Auto. Out of 999. Matt Frazier. Ooh, is that from OPG? OPG Signatures? Oh my gosh, I never get these. Never get these. <laughs> I don't even think I have a single one in my collection. Wow. It's all I got. It's all I got. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Select uh, Youth Explosion Autograph. That was such a cool set. I know I've said it so many times how much I like this Select series or that release. And McLeod. I think that's how you say his name. I'm going to say it that way anyways. Ultimate Rookies. Uh, out of 299. Is that the last one or is it just a, oh, it's a thicky. It's a, it's a thicky out of 399. However, it is an autograph. It is an autograph. Very, very cool. That is a nice, nice little lot there. We got another one here coming in from Cody. We have opened um, package or two, I believe. I, I know one for sure from Cody before. And uh, coming from Brandon, Manitoba. Once again, packaging is fine and didn't need to use industrial packing tape. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> it got quiet there. Okay. Now there's a, quite a bit of uh, painter's taper on this, but I know you can hear it. Let me just kind of get on in the frame here so you can kind of have an idea as to what you're hearing. I'm just trying to un take everything up apart. Now, hmm. I don't feel anything, holy flip, I don't feel like any kind of top loaders or anything in this, so did he just shove these in team bags and say, away you go? Hmm, I don't know, I don't know, okay. All right, this one's this one has all the tape on it. Right? <laughs> okay, so this is the one I'm actually gonna open first because there's just so much tape that I like. It's pointless to take all the tape off when it's in a team bag. I can just pull on the uh, adhesive lip here and take all the cards out, which is what I'm going to do. All right. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we've got a base card. So we uh, put base cards at the front and the back. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, so no top loaders or anything, just some penny sleeves. Let's take a look what we got here. Prospects. Another one there. Planet Metal. Ooh, those are pretty nice cards, eh? Rantanen. Pretty nice cards. Don't have many of those, that's for sure. These are the uh, the blue, I guess the blue. I don't know what they call them. Like, I never actually looked them up. I don't know if these are, like, the, like blue or royal blue or what they call them because you never flip and know anymore. Different names every time. I mean, not every time, but Drysdale Prospects. Oh, a couple of artifacts. It's not bad, not bad. Center of Attention, Johansson. Yeah, it's a rookie. Metal Universe. Oh, look at that. A couple of... Wow, oh, hey! That'll that'll work good. That'll work good. Yes. 
The Canvas Young Guns. The ones I have the hardest time completing. That, that, that three little lot there, three card lot. That was perfect. Perfect. I know, I know, I know I need them. Okay. Let's keep going. I see something here that is just an advertising for this gentleman. Which um, which I, I would normally do, which I would normally do. I don't mind I don't mind advertising or whatever, giving a shout out to whoever. Um, complete transparency, what I am not a fan of is people that are like, you know, and I've met a lot of them. I don't want to say a lot, but enough where they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Advertise me or mention me or put banner ads up on your website and da, 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 da. And they wouldn't even bother doing the same for you whatsoever. Like, it's just, it's all benefiting them in every way. And, and, uh, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. So, so in, in place, I'll be like, okay, you know, once you get that vibe, once you get that vibe from someone and it's like, you know, it's like, yeah, you're just trying to basically benefit off of me and probably other people. But if, if you can't, if you can't, you know, you gotta, there, it's a give and take, right? Like you can't just, just take, 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 you know what I mean? And you can't just give, 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 right? So it's like, you know what I mean? I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> so I just, I just kind of, instead of doing anything, instead of saying anything or disputing anything or raising concern, I just don't, I don't follow. Uh, I just don't, I just don't do it with anyone asks unless it's a mutual thing, right? Okay, here we go. Some SPX. I'm trying to see the year 1314 rookie materials. It looks like we got a couple of rookies here from Metal Universe, UD Canvas. Oh, look at that, Jonathan Quick. I think I have probably about four of these. I think. Holy moly! Uh, artifacts, another UD Canvas. Artifacts out of 499. Anders Lee, and another canvas of Vasilevsky. Not so bad, not so bad. And open up this next one here. Take the base cards out. He's got there. Okay. On a roll. Superstar. Kapanen. Domi. Parkers. Uh, Turcotte. Metal Universe. Then another blue. Ooh, fluorescence out of 150, Colin White. That's one that I don't think we've had on the show. This is uh, from 1718. Really? 1718 Upper Deck? Really? Really? Wow. I didn't think I didn't think they had those <laughs> in that year. Okay. All right, Hannafin. And we got a couple of other young guns here. Older older ones, of course. Wierenski. And other young guns. A Jeff Skinner game jersey. Likely needed. Larson game jersey. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ryan Getzlaff. Gotta love that die cut, eh? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And Kapanen ending it off with that one. We got one last pack yet to go. Okay, okay, okay. And there we go. UD Portraits, Lucas Raymond, Center of Attention, JT Miller, Debut Dates, Swayman, Jason Robertson, UD Portraits, Batan. Ah, oh, darn it. I already have this one. <laughs> I already have it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, that's too bad. And a couple of artifacts. Rookie Emerald, I'm assuming. 
haven't really been following much of following much of the artifacts releases in the last couple years. Young Guns, McCormick, you got Spencer Knight, Rookie Retrospective, uh, Cousins, Young Guns, Randell, Young Guns, Metal Universe, and a couple more rookies from Metal Universe. Okay, okay, okay. We got some time left. We've got some time left. Let's go with this smaller one here. This one comes in from Tim from Millet, Alberta. Okay, let's get into this one. Again, there's no industrial packing tape around these. <laughs> okay, okay, Tim, we've heard enough. We've heard enough. You don't like it. We get it. We hear you. Okay? All right, just so you guys know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so these ones are in really, really big top loaders here. Really big top loaders. So this is... Pretty, uh, pretty simple. Just taking off the, the painter's tape that cover the top. I'm going to try and get my big fat fingers in there and pull them out. There we go. There we go. So much easier like to just put everything in one big top loader. I, I, I agree. I agree. I've, I've, I've done the same with, uh, with some, um, some orders. You know, got like four or five cards of like, put them all, penny sleeves, one big top loader, right? Then you make sure they're secured. Just, just, just saying that out loud there. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like there is a few in here. So let's just check it out. Got the MVP silver scripts, Max Domi and that guy. Hold on. Just moving that around. There we go. Okay. And defense mechanism. We got two of those. Those are pretty nice cards. I actually really, really like these. Really like these. Uh, 22, 23 upper deck. I'm not entirely sure how big this set is. I haven't put all of my defense mechanism cards together yet to find that out. But uh, really liking that subset they did a really good job on that i like that now again again i, I will say this again you're know, using the same photo you know i mean this has got to be a thing for them um you know but all things considered all things considered i actually do really like this this uh design so i'm not not gonna complain too much about that one Ice Battles, MVP, got a couple of those, and Rookie, oh, look at that, we got the Silver and, ah, look at that, that's pretty nice, that's pretty nice, and who do we have here, Monahan, and once again, we got a Silver and a Rookie, let's get into this, here we go, Allure, Alexander True, Rookie. Oh, yes. I remember seeing these and I was like, I need it, need it, need it, need it. These were the uh, franchise heroes from OPG, Coast to Coast, that were sold at Canadian Tire in 2018. And I think I probably have three in total. So when I saw Tim had a little stack of these, I'm like, want them. Want them, need them, got them, got them, need them, want them, send them, ship them. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. That's awesome. I like that. That that puts a smile on me face. Okay. I also like these view from the ice. I'm missing some of these as well. So I was able to grab some of those from him as well. The Zetterberg. Still dropping cards as we can both see there. Carlson. And then uh, Hall and Ben. So that pack, that little pack was very, very good for me. Oh, look at that. I got, look at that. I got another one. Another one of toes. <laughs> yes. 
and rookie. Uh, I I'm not I wasn't sure if I had it or not, so I just said oh, I'll just grab it. I'll just grab it. If I need it, I need it. If I don't, then that's cool. Hailstorm. I really like the design of these from Parkhurst as well. These are cool. Uh, Dylan Larkin. Oh, look at that. Some more defense mechanism. McAvoy. Shabbat. And who's the last guy? Oh, it's... Oh, got two of them. Two of them. Same guy. Same guy. All right. Okay. Grab another one. Oh, man, I got a lot that I need from, from Tim here. Patrice Bergeron. Before and after? Oh, my gosh. Those are pretty cool cards, eh? They're not bad. They're not bad. Tyler Seguin. <laughs> nice. And then we have got the MVP watch. A set that I'm still very far behind on. These are freaking cool, too. The heart attack. So McKinnon from MVP. Uh, look at that. Oh, Kako. Look at that. Prominent prospects from Parkhurst. View from the ice. Once again, John Carter. Or Jeff Carter. I don't want to say John. Jeff Carter and Chara. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Jeez, you guys catch that? I got the edge right at the side of my thumb there. Bleah. That height. That height. Okay. This looks like O'Reilly. And it would be Ryan O'Reilly. Championship Galaxy. Sweet selections. Ooh, still working on that set. Pop-ups. Oh, these have been... <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen these. 12, 13, Opeachy. Pop-ups. Yeah, I don't have too many of those. And ending it off with Barkov. Wow, that, that was pretty decent. That was pretty decent. Pretty decent. Let's shove that to the side. What do we got? Well, do we have time? Oh, you know what? You know, you know what? You know, I'll do one more, guys. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Let's let's just do a small one though. Let's just do a tiny one. This one comes in from Steve from Windsor. Windsor, Ontario. Now, I believe I've had this for quite some time. And I think I want to say that I've had some excitement built up because I was like knowing that it was going to be good. I don't know. Like, I mean, we're talking like quite a while ago, so I, I, I could be wrong. But let's just take a look and see what we got. All right. A nice big uh, sticker on here with something I don't want to put on cam. All right. Here we go. We got an ice premier jersey. That's not too bad to start. To start. Ocpasso game jersey. Book value 4 to 10. Okay. Okay. And then we have got, out of 100, a titanium rookie. Titanium... Sorry, guys. I'm just a little. Why is this out of a hundred? I'm trying. Why? Like, I'm. I'm trying to remember why it's out of a hundred. I don't think the right. I don't think the rookies were out of a hundred, were they? Hmm. Gosh, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm starting to lose my memory here. Comes with age. Comes with age. Okay. Here's another one with a sticker I do not want on the frame. Okay. Okay. Rookie signatures from Upper Deck Premier. That's not too bad. I mean, you know, I could have got to sign a little bit, you know. Got to use the space a little more. <laughs> okay. And then we have Anthony Mantha, Ultimate Rookies jersey out of 249. I guess he puts his, uh, his book values on the back of his... Uh, of his cards that he's trying to sell. And Anthony Mantha once again from SPX. This one is out of 399. So I'm just trying to... 
There we go. Holy moly. Okay, so this, I feel this, you know, this episode was a little all over the place in my opinion. But, uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, what's the card of the episode? Well, I know I have the runner up. Let me just grab things while everything is falling. <laughs> the card of the episode. Okay. Oh, boy. Why do I put myself in this position? <sighs> see, the thing is, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just put it aside when you see it? And the reason why I don't do that is because I don't know what else is coming. <laughs> so, so I'm like, oh, it's, it's probably going to come later on, you know? Like, But I should probably learn from that. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to have to... <laughs> Been making you guys wait a lot in this episode, I feel. Not my intention. Never my intention. So we're just going to go with something something close <laughs> nearby here we go hold on hold on just hold the phone guys hold the phone hold the phone okay there we go <laughs> you all set all right so the runner up is going to go to uh to this here beehive from uh 2000 i want to say 2005 six and I would be right. Beehive, 2005-2006. The beige. I believe it's the beige. Uh, uh, no, there's more to it. I know there's more to it. Facsimile, I guess. Um, don't come across them too often. They're, they're, they're pretty cool cards. Um, and I, I believe they have different photos than their regular card in the set. Um yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. There's not too, too much I remember about the Beehive 2005, 2006. Although I do remember they have the blue, they have the blue border, red border. Uh, then, of course, the beige, of course. Like, it's like, holy man, they, they went a little crazy on, on the different variations. So that is the runner up. But I think it's no surprise that my card of the episode is going to fall on to this one here. Matt Frazier, the OPG uh, signatures. Um... This is, I'm, I'm a little, I'll be honest, I'm a little unsure about the design. Um, uh, just a little unsure about it. But I think for me, it's more about the card itself. Um, in, in the sense that, you know, I don't normally come across these. Like, it's it's been so hard to find these signature cards, at least whenever I buy lots and, and small collections. So... So that is going to fall onto the card of the episode for this Tuesday. So things were a little bit out there all over the place, I find, in this episode. From, from complications with uh, opening packages to uh, getting my feathers ruffled a little bit. But nonetheless, got some pretty awesome stuff and several, several I noticed immediately were needed for my PC. So that always works for me. Whew. So again, uh, I want to thank you guys uh, for joining me today. I'm just moving everything over so everything just doesn't fall all over the place. And I'm welcoming you guys back, of course, on Friday. We are going to hit some more cool stuff on that day as well so until then you know you just got to keep remembering that collecting does not have to break the bank so until next time just keep building that collection that fabulous awesome pc that you've got going keep it going and we'll see you take care